Can you just lift your hand and just surrender to Jesus this morning? Just lift your hand and surrender to Jesus. Jesus has done so much for us throughout this week. And it's a, a big, a, next week and next week, suppose, a week supposed to start. And he has done, he has protected us. Just lift our hand and just give him praise and give him glory and give him honor. Lord, we declare that this atmosphere is surrender to you right now. This very atmosphere is surrender and subjected to your power and your glory. You will be exalted in this place, not another. Only you will be exalted, Jesus Christ, our King and our Lord, our Alpha and our Omega, our beginning and our end, the first and the last. Our first and the last. Father, I thank you that this atmosphere right now is, is governed by your presence of your spirit. Father, we declare this in the name of you, Lord. Ex be exalted. 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 I know where Jesus take me from. I know where Jesus take me from. Picture where Jesus have taken you from. Picture what Jesus have done for you throughout this week. His name is King of Glory. He is Alpha. He is our King. He is the creator of the heaven and the earth. He is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. He is, he is God. Oh, Rebekata, Robokosi Kata, Brokotosi Kata. Rimba si robri ketai brosita alaba kata badi kesimbra kata zibra kato. Have your way, Lord. Have your way by your spirit. Have your way by your spirit. In Jesus' name. You can take your seat and turn your Bibles to Second Chronicles, chapter thirty-two. We're going to read from. Second Chronicles 32, read from verse 5, got to about verse 9. Find it? All right. And the Bible said, Also he strengthened himself and built up all the wall that was broken and raised it up to the towers, pier to Meleto. In the city of David, and make darts and shields in abundance, and set captains of war over people, and gathered them to gather to him in the street of the gate of the city, and speak comfortable to them, saying, Be strong, be courageous, be not afraid, nor, de nor dismay for the king of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him, for there. There be more with us than they, than with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rest themselves upon the words of Ezekiah, of the king of Judah. Verse 9. And after this king, Jerim, king of Assyria, sent his servant to Jerusalem, to himself see and lay siege against Latish and all his power with him and to Ezekiah king of Judah and all Judah that were at Jerusalem say this morning I just want to talk to you about you are in a battle turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you are in a battle whether you believe it yes or no Time for we as people of God to realize that we are truly in a battle. This was a time in Israel, the kingdom was divided. King Ezekiah was ruling over Judah. And at the time he was ruling over Judah, this king of Assyria come against them. 
Because he claimed that he destroyed all other kingdoms. And he's coming out for this kingdom. And, he, and Ezekiah cannot stop him from destroying his kingdom. For you to get further information on this passage of scripture, you can also find it in Isaiah 37. 2 Kings 19 going into 20. You can find it there. But what I'm saying is that we have to understand as people of God, we are in a war. We are in a war. Whether we want to accept it or we do, want, do not want to accept it. We are in a war. And we have to come to the realization that we are in a war. This king Ezekiah realized that this king was not joking. As a Babylonian king coming against him. He also sent a letter to Ezekiah and tell him that this is what I'm going to do to you. Don't you hear what I have done to the other gods of other nations? But what this king misinterpreted was that Ezekiah was serving the true and living God. Ezekiah was serving the true and living God. The God that say he's a consuming fire. Many times things come against us and we cry and because of fear. There are 365 times them say fear mentioned in scripture. We have a fear not for each day. Fear not, fear not, fear not. But many times we are fearful. We are fearful and a soldier in war that is fearful can tell you, you will die. You will die. You will die. If you do not know. A matter of fact, you will also forget about your skill sets that you have learned in the army. You notice the word that Ezekiah encouraged the people in verse 7. And he said, be strong and courageous. Be not afraid nor dismay for the king of Assyria. Nor for the multitude that is with him. For there is more with us than with him. When we are on God, when God is on our side, God is the majority. God is the majority. And many times it makes it look like we are the minority. That's a lie the devil is saying to us. Notice King Ezekiah realized that. That this is God who is with us. And this man who is of God's. Because he destroyed God's that. Is not really God of no war, but when we read scripture, Exodus 14 tell us that God fight for us. God fight for us all the way after the world of our peace. The Bible said God is a God of war. Exodus chapter 15 after that. God is a God of war. We always represent and present Jesus like Jesus is the same Jesus, gentle meat and mild. I don't remember the next part where them say, where them say, breathe upon a little child, Pastor Jay. That is not Jesus that I read about in the book of Revelation. The Jesus that I read about in the book of Revelation, is not full of fire. He's a conqueror in the book of Revelation. We behave as people of God like guinea pig. Me weak, me weak, me weak, me weak. Why we don't pull from the strength of God? Pull from the strength of God. We always are complaining about when we are go through and when we not go through and when we are do from when we not do. We must understand we are in a war. We are in a war every day. A matter of fact, from you give your heart to Jesus, you are in a war. The Bible said Satan's Second Corinthians four. Tell us that Satan is the God of this world. Satan is the God of this world. And if he's the God of this world, imagine me, for example. Me now I use nobody else. Me I use myself. Me would either want to see Satan, good, good disciple. Me was one of Satan, good, good disciple. Say, so I mean to tell me, say, me give me life to Satan, and Satan, I go to sit down over there and say, go on, where I go? You're too ungrateful. No? 
he will put up a fight to try to pull me back into the dark world. But I as a soldier of Jesus Christ. Have to maintain that discipline. Through the power that Jesus Christ gives us to fight with. And he said I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. I have to depend upon the word of God. To be victorious every day. So we are in a battle every day. And battle means engagement. You have to engage in this thing we complain we murmur we all go and say you think if me I like the children of Israel if God they show me so much signs and wonder pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day you think me that do what children of Israel do let us stop and check ourselves and see if many times we are not fall we fall same into that same bracket because we are we complain and murmur Every single day is like we are not serving God. When we need to stand up. We need to stand up. Stand up in the authority that Jesus Christ given to us. That we can fight the good fight of faith as Paul said to Timothy. We can fight the good fight of faith in 1 Timothy 6 and 12. That's what Paul said to him. Because Paul was addressing a matter in, in chapter 10 coming down. In 1 Timothy chapter 6. Paul was telling him of love money. And Paul said, flee these things, O man of God. Then he said in verse 12, listen to me. You need to fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life. Are we fighting? Are we just give up? We better fight for our family, fight for our marriage, fight for our business. If we will lose what God has given to us, we too lay back as people of God many times. We too lay back. And the stuff and things that belongs to us, we allow them to slip from us. In Judges chapter 3 verse 1 and 2, God says something to the children of Israel. God said, listen, him leave the enemy in the land to teach those that do not know about war how to fight. You hear what I say? I never say man leave the enemy in the land. God said leave the enemy in the land to teach the children of Israel how to fight. We must learn to fight. We must learn to fight. We must learn to fight as people of God. Why witchcraft have mash up me and my family? What are you doing about it? Jesus tell us in Luke 10 verse 18 and 19. Him say, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And behold, I give unto you power. That power there is, talk, is coming from the Greek word named exousia. But watch this now. In verse 19. Him say, behold, I give you power to trample upon all the power of the enemy. That power there is coming from the word dunamis. And you get ability out of that. So what God is saying, me give all the power over the ability of the enemy or the plan or the scheme of the enemy. And we lay back. This war is big. This war bigger than me and you. That's why we need Jesus which was and is to come. Which is the alpha and the omega and the beginning and the end. This never start here on earth. This start in heaven. And it spill over and come straight to hurt. If we investigate Revelation chapter 12, tell us that. From about verse 9 going down, Revelation chapter 12, tell us that Michael and his archangel kicked the devil out. And I never see the name Lucifer there. I see that all dragon, devil, and then it says Satan. I see it and he said, and the Bible said, Oh, be unto the inhabitants of the earth, because ye have come down with great wrath. 
He man vets. This is who we are fighting against. It's not your brother and it's not your sister. Me can't take her and me can't take she. What about the spirit? Me never see Jesus in my Bible. Cast out Angela yet. The Bible said Jesus cast out demon with his word. With his word. The sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit which is the word of almighty God. We need to get that. We know about everything else but we forsake the word. We quick for plead the blood because we don't have to do nothing to forget the blood. It does in our mouth. We can't say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. But because you have to sit down and spend time in the word. So everybody come with foolishness. Run gone up a prophet X and prophet B. Me a look a word. You have a whole 66 book and you look a word. Lord man. So that's why you cannot identify yourself. To know that Christ said in Ephesians chapter 1 that we are blessed and seated in heavenly place in Christ Jesus. We lose our identity. The word of God called, the scripture called this the mirror. It's supposed to reflect. When you're going out, when you go, you go to your mirror and look, who you see? You don't see somebody else, are you? You see? But the word of God is deeper than that. Because man fall into sin from Genesis. And listen, when the devil gets kicked out, God does insult him more. God does say, all right, whoop with some dust, set up a frame, and go so... A man became a living soul. The devil said, but... Uh, 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 uh. And here God said, you have dominion over this, dominion over that, dominion, dominion, dominion. He said, so... How are this for me now? How are this? Him do him best and make man fall into sin. And listen... Man in a battle. He may rise up against the family. The first thing. We are in a war. We are in a war. Stop be so easy. The Bible says. Why be so easy in Zion? We are in a war people of God. We must fight. Praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon that God gives to us. We murmur and complain instead of we give thanks when the Bible says we must rejoice in all things. Give thanks in all things. All things. First Thessalonians chapter 5. It tells us we must rejoice in all things. No, me a murmur and complain first. Pastor, me a tell you, say, me a go through a hell up on my yard. Lord God, you have every inside of you. The devil give me hell. What are you doing about it? Fight, fight, fight. David, they have a servant that named Shammah. The Bible said, Shammah fight till his sword cleave unto his hand. Why cannot we use the word of God in that way? We must awake in Zion. Awake. Awake. We've been hearing about faith. We've been hearing about faith. How can you use a shield? Understand the armor that Paul was talking about. In Ephesians chapter 6. Paul was talking about the armor. And he said use the shield of faith. If you look at the armor that Paul talked about. 
How can you allow the enemy to fool you that you are not in a war? Every single day, we give up things that God say, I hear one, I hear me now. Yes, God say, I feel me, but me can't bother you. God send you upon a job, I hear you. Yes, I God send me there. God send you out a ministry here. Yes, I God send me there. You see, something now work out in your favor, you're gone. Ask the question now. When you go away, I will tell you if you go. If you don't mind sharp, the devil whisper to you and tell you, say, yeah, you know. You know, say, the Lord tell me, say, my time up and if you just move on. So that's why I'm gone, you hear? And a few months after, you go somewhere where God not really send you. And here you come back now. Why? I tell you, yeah, man. Why? I don't know, but look like God will lead me to come back home. I can tell you this. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Paul was speaking about tongues. And Paul said, God is not the author of confusion, but the God of peace. You are confused. And is not God doing it? So because we don't learn to fight, many times we end up in confusion. We end up in frustration when we need to fight. The Bible said the battle is not ours, it is the Lord. The Bible said God has chosen us in Jeremiah 51 verse 20. That he has chosen us as a battle axe. A battle axe is a choice weapon that warrior use in war. But many times we take the word of God as a cliche. We repeat it and it have no meaning, no root. That is not how we're supposed to handle the word of Almighty God. When we speak the word, it's supposed to affect, affect things, bring change. God saying his word in Isaiah 55 that when his word went out of his mouth, it shall not return unto him void, but must accomplish that which he please and prosper into the thing where he have sent it. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18, Paul said to Timothy, I charge thee, I command you through the laying of hands, through prophecy that have gone forth. That you fight a good warfare. You know much things God speak of uh, some of our life. And we just lay back. God said me I go turn this. You just lay back. Yes it will go happen. Because you know he said the devil can oppose that word. If you think a joke ask Joseph. Ask all me. Me we were a dangerous humanizer. I should have just lay back and just ease myself and see. I come in a church and just turn one big yalis too. And I do what I make. But God, but God, when you realize that God has his hand on your life, because me and people say, for me purpose, don't get God word twisted. It is not your purpose, nor my purpose. So the trials and the testing that you are going through, it is God's purpose on your life, and God will allow the testing that will make you become out as pure goal. Why I say that? Because Roman chapter here tell me that. All things work together for good to them who love God and are called according to his purpose. Not your purpose or my purpose, his purpose. So tell me now, if I feel purpose, tell me things where you are going to go through. Are you? In the book of Ephesians, the Bible says, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. That means we are in product. And a product can't go on the shelf if you not go through all the rigorous testing and all the things we're supposed to go through. We are in a battle. I almost learned to fight. 
the leprous man. They sit down and I say, you know, say, if I go up to Israel and kick you out of camp, we don't know where to go. We don't have the left, we don't have the right to go. And these men decide, say, listen, you know what? Better we go down to Philistine, you know. I'm asking the question this morning, why sit there and die? Why sit there and die? These men decide, me now they're there, so me I make a move. Time now for us to wake up. We need to wake up as people of God and fight. Fight. Things are happening probably in the ministry where you go. And all you cannot do a murmur and complain. Are you praying? Are you praying and say, God, may I go join with my brothers and sisters? Because the Bible says, one shall chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flee. Word of God said two cannot walk unless they agree. So either or right, I see that on the devil side to destroy what God is doing. And the Bible said in the book of Acts, I think Acts, Acts chapter 4, say you cannot fight against God. God Gamiel called these men and said to them, say, when they oppose Peter and John and say, Mind, be careful. When you think you are fighting against these men, you are fighting against God. We are in a war. We are in a battle every day as a child of God. Are you going to sit around, lay back, and say, Boy, this does happen to me over and over. There is a cycle repeating in your life and you not take no different step. You sit back and just watch this cycle repeat here. This year somebody dead for you. Next year somebody come and dead for you. And you say, boy, God, me don't know where I have me. You know. Listen, we need for prayer. We need for do what the sword of draw, the sword of the spirit and say enough is enough, devil. The enemy come to kill, steal and destroy. But Jesus Christ said, He come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That's what the word of God say. The Bible says, You shall live and not die and declare the works of the living God. We must draw the sword and begin to start to use the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. To get what we need to be done in the kingdom of God against the powers of darkness. Imagine God go to a man named Abraham. Answer to Abraham. Say, Abraham, let me find next amount of people in a Saddam and Gomorrah. I mean, destroy the city, I know. We are precious in the sight of God. But we do not believe that. Because here we are. We believe a free with own strength. We want righteousness. I get what is supposed to be done. Done. No, it is not like that. We can do all things through Christ. That's where our strength, we must pull our strength from. Joseph had understand that in 2 Chronicles 20. When he followed the instruction of God and get the praisers together and put them at the front of the army. The Bible said the, 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 the army turn on them one another. Sometimes we just need to draw out Psalms 103 and say, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that within me. Bless his holy name and forget not all his benefit. You hear? That's what the word of God said. May I show you some? Psalms 144. So God has teach my hands to fight and my fingers to war. This is what I'm saying. There is a praise near me, Yada praise. And there is a praise near Shabbat. You can link and show you say, God, I'm not, God is not talking about a physical fist fight. God is talking about use your weapon of praise. Because when you combine 
Psalms 140, 144 and Psalms 47, the Bible said, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. So what God is saying, use your prayers to defeat the weapon of the enemy. But we sit back. We sit back. Look upon Paul and Silas in prison. These men use the weapon that God gave to them. We are in some prison. Some prison around us. Paul and Silas begin to start praying. And the physical prison shake down flat. It shake till the man are free. We allow depression. And in Isaiah 61, the Bible said, God has given us the spirit of praise for the spirit of heaviness. God has given us the spirit of praise for the spirit of heaviness. We are in a battle. We are in a battle. Why well, it seems like we don't understand that. Each and every day it looks like we don't mean understand. When it looks on the children of Israel life coming through. You see the children, enemy always have come up against Israel. Look on David's life. Look on David's life. Constantly, this man of your battle, not only for himself, but to preserve the seed of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. There are a lot of things in our generation that the responsibility as a follower of Jesus Christ is on you and on me. God come in your family and he take you out and say, come, come, follow me. It's because he want to use you or me to shift certain curse or certain things within our generation. And yet still, we sit back. We sit back and do not understand that we are truly in a war. War for your business. War for your business. When you look at certain things start dry up. And you is a follower of Jesus Christ. Take out the sword of the spirit and begin to start to wield it. Wield it skillfully and use it skillfully. And watch what God will do. If God now will shift and change things, the direction of the enemy... Husband and the problem. Me can't stand this uh, demon. Yeah. And you have power to cast out the devil. Me can't turn my wife. Boy, me I tell you when you want a problem where she has give me, me can't turn her. You have fasting, you have prayer, you have a blood, and you have a word, and you have prayers. A five weapon that me gone already. You know. All we have to do is go to God and say, God, which one me fi select? Tell me which one to put. Yes, sir. And fire ye in our kingdom of darkness. <laughs> but we see. The Bible said. In 2 Corinthians. In chapter 10. So though we walk in the flesh. We do not war after the flesh. This war that we are in is not a flesh war. It is a spiritual war. He said, though we walk in the flesh, the weapon of our warfare is not carnal. You go back to Ephesians chapter 6 and it tell you, we wrestle not. We wrestle not. We wrestle not. That don't mean a wrestling is not going on. That don't mean a wrestling is not going on. There's a wrestling going on in the realms of the spirit. We need to understand that we are truly in a war. We are in a war. We are in a war. And we must fight. 
Paul encouraged Timothy and tell him to fight. You have a greatness of God hanging over your life. But it's because you're not fighting. You just want to live a normal life when God did not call you to do that. I can't bother. I just live. I just live. I can't bother. Yeah. I can't bother. What you can't bother with? You better learn to fight. Because the Bible tells us. The Bible tells us. It was many, few, many are called, but few is chosen. And God unpick you. God unpick you. You have to fight. You have to fight. The scripture said, choose ye this day who you will serve. You choose to serve the Lord. Say, so think God now go back here when you're in a battle. We must understand that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. We must use the word of God against the plot and plan of the enemy. We must use the word of God. We must do that. We must do that. The Bible said no weapon form against you. In Isaiah 54 verse 17, shall not, will not, and cannot prosper. We have power over the plan of the enemy. We have power over the plan of the enemy. But because we do not know our identity in the word of God, we believe the devil is supposed to trample upon us and take us for a footstool instead of we take him for a footstool. Because that is not what the Bible said. Jesus Christ said, sit here. David said, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit here until I make my enemy thy footstool. But many times we do the opposite. We must know ourselves through the word of God. We must use the sword of the spirit and fight this war. Do we understand? The Bible said in Ecclesiastes chapter 10. And this is one of the scriptures where we really like to show you something the bible said in ecclesiastes chapter 10 that if an axe edge is blunt you take more strength to accomplish what you want to accomplish but if it is sharp you use less strength the bible said it's not by might nor by power but by my spirit in this warfare that we are fighting, it is the Holy Spirit, the greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That will cause us to overcome. Listen again. Let me quote this scripture. John, 1 John 4 verse 4 said, Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Many times we believe that which is up and outside is greater than what is inside of us. We are looking for wisdom when wisdom is inside of us. We are looking for knowledge and understanding when it is inside of us. We have to understand and identify ourselves with the word of Almighty God. We are in our people. We are in a war. Look what's going on around us right now. And we're still so this is yeah. No business. No business what happened. Your child is on the verge to turn a crackhead. All your children, them just all of a sudden them just start get crazy. All you talk to them is spirit of rebellion, just rise up in them, and you can't do and you're not doing nothing about it. All your gone me are good on a station. You know, say me are good on this up. And you carry him gone as psychiatrist. I think psychiatrist, devil not take counseling. Devil not take counseling. Devil take kick out a body. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. You have to cast that out. Go to your one counsel, devil.
That's what I'm saying. We are in a war. We have to understand that. When you see certain things that go sideways, are going away, ungodly, you just say, Come here. Come here. Come here, me say. Stand up here, so. Let me pray for you. Sometimes God supernaturally make a move upon that child. When he walk with friend, so all of a sudden, in the same, um, you know, say, me feel like I want to give me life to the Lord now. Me, 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 you, you pray for me other day and something does poop off of me. I don't know where you gone, but me, me, me want to give me life to the Lord. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit capture him. And the Holy Spirit is over all other spirit. Me, me want to give me, same thing with the husband too. I get problem when in Ghana I'll walk. Put your hand on the pillow while you sleep and I say, Oh, Rabba Kata, Robo Kositai, Rimbanda Basika Tobro Kotai, Shiblo Kotila Bakatilia. Same thing with the wife too. How do you think? The anointing of God that is on our life is transferable. Nothing in I pray shall. And nothing in I olive oil. It's because of Apostle Paul, the anointing and Paul, Apostle Paul life, where he could take and kerchief from his side and put it on, on other people. Because it is an, it's this transferable. The woman with the issue of blood, he touched the hem of Jesus' garment because the anointing was transferable. Now, power now in a piece of cloth. And you know why we can't understand, say, we in our war? It's because of this religious activity. If somebody not touch you with the olive oil, you don't feel like somebody pray for you. Read James chapter 5 and you what say. James chapter 5 say, call for the elders of the church. Then them anoint you with oil. Listen good, you know, listen good. Read it for yourself too. Call the elders of the church like now anoint you with oil. Pray over you and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, not the oil. The prayer of faith. We have some religious practice. So when we in a warfare, boy, yo, yo, some attack you. If you're not mind sharp, you run down for one piece of you know. What will I do? I have to pray with this for my head. Man, stop it. We need to stop. That's why the religious people, they have problem with Jesus. Because Jesus Christ come to show them this is not the way. The tradition and the custom where we used to. It causes us to go in a war and lose because we apply strategy that the master did not give to us. This book, this 66 book, I can't believe some things what we are doing outside of them book. Yeah. We apply some something and say, a oh God tell me if you do it. Stop it. And so we end up in a witchcraft. And invite other spirit, another demon to come in our life. And then we say, God now nah, do nothing for me. God now nah, move on my behalf. We are in a war. We are in a war. And the Bible said in Revelation chapter 12, that same passage of scripture. That the Bible said, Oh, be unto the inhabitants of the earth, for Satan has come down with great wrath. The Bible said, and we quote this as a cliche, and think it's a cliche. The Bible said, We overcome the devil with the blood of the Lamb and with the word of our testimony. We splash the blood of Jesus, and when we look, we don't see nothing move, nothing change. 
Because everything we do, we do it in a religious format and style and pattern. Me have to jerk and shake and back flick and some sauce and do something to warm up your Holy Spirit. You think God Jimmy there? The Holy Spirit ever ready. Ever ready. When you are asleep, have already. You can just jump up and start. Yeah. He ever already. Somehow we, we have to get up and look for us and do some warm up, do some exercise. <laughs> up so down, so round, so all over the place. And I say, all right, me can pray now. Me have to go do this and do that. Man. By the time if you do that, probably if your picnic demon come find gone with him. If your husband in come find gone with him. If your finance in play play up now, walla walla in gone with that. Me have to tie up my head first. Me have to jerk first. Hey. Mark and Dosi. Stop him, man. Stop it. Let us do things according to the pattern. God said to Moses, when Moses go in the mountain with God, the Bible said, God said to Moses, build according to the pattern that I have shown you. Let us follow the pattern of God's word and we will be successful even in our warfare. But we are praying what God is not written and we expect God to answer. God no nah answer. God never say watch over your word and my word to perform it according to Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 12. Him say God say watch over his word to perform it. Not your word and my word. So when we speak our word and not now happen. Hear me boy. Mm -mm. Why me can't understand how me a prayer not now nah, mm. All right, you know what you need for do? Stop praying. Yeah, yeah, that's all now we are in. Somebody I tell you if you stop praying, stop praying religiously and stop praying from your soul because God now nah, hear them something there. You, you know why, why me say stop praying? You need to follow the instruction in Matthew chapter 6 when the disciple was praying, but they understand say there is a level to prayer and you go to Jesus and say, Master, teach us how to pray. And Jesus said, All right, since you know one who for prayer. Because everything Jesus do, Jesus always left them in a oh. Jesus speak to a fig tree, master, I dry up. Jesus never surprised. We as people of God must understand, we must follow the pattern. Some of we say we're in a warfare and we, not, we are going there with no strategy. Read the Old Testament and see. Always, each one of these men, from Joshua to all of these men, going to war with a strategy. God always gives them a strategy. The war fear that you have in your life. Seek the Lord and see the strategy. See the way where God can deliver you out of it. David end up in a position like that. When the enemy come into the camp and steal almost, then take away family, then take away what they want, take away. The Bible never said David murmur and complain. People start cursing David. The Bible said David seek the Lord and say, what if you do? God say, go after them. Because the same scripture, you know. You have a song where said they went to the enemy camp and take back what they have stolen from me. I tell you what the scripture say. I tell you what the scripture say. The scripture say in the book of Proverbs that if the thief been found, he shall restore sevenfold. You know who I thief? Check John chapter 10 and verse 10. 
The Bible said the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. So I him your fine as a thief, him after his toll, a hundredfold. But listen, if we don't identify and know who we are in Christ, know that, listen, we have followed the instruction of God's word. We're not going to realize that. The devil does come and take every year. Come here, I can't bother go up a pastor just in, 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 in every minute in your pose. I can't bother with him. I go along there and say, look at me, so I'm weak friends. Let me tell you what the Bible said. And that's no lie. That's what I said. That is no lie. I think in 1 Peter chapter, or 2 Peter, I think. The Bible said, the devil, the, 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 the devil is like a roaring lion. Seeking who, notice the word I'm using, you know, seeking who he may devour. And everybody him can devour. And everybody him can devour. But the Bible says him seek who he may devour. The first part of the verse says you must be vigilant, watchful, be sober. You notice that? And then when he addressed now, the devil said, him seek, the, he's like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Are you or me is one of that person where the devil has seek for devour. When you see her in just walk past and just say, who oh, friends? Sir? Well that. No resistance. Because you I know mean, so many times why we can't put up any resistance against the devil. According to the word of God in 1 Peter 4, the Bible says, Submit therefore to God. And many times we are not submissive to God at all. We never submit to a leader where God said to over us. So that's our next situation again. And the Bible says, Submit therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. How can you have a chief commander, the captain, the general? The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 12. Now looking unto Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith. And he is the commander. And many times we now listen to him. We now listen to him none at all. So we go in our one battle. And when we go into that warfare, we end up lose it. We have to follow the instruction of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are in a war. We must understand that we are in a war. We are in a war and the kingdom of darkness is not playing. In a war, you always have people who get dead. We're dead. Listen. This war is serious than the physical war. Because many things that happen in the realms of the spirit is what physically manifests many times. We are in a war for two. We are in a war. But in this war, we have the weapons to get the victory every day. To win the victory every day. Not sometime, every day. Because I think demon are going to just let off and say, Yo, can't bother with she, yeah, man. They are determined to achieve, to achieve the task that they have given to do. Paul the apostle said we must not be ignorant of the devil devices. We must not be ignorant. Hold up this in a I want to device this. Is this a device? So just imagine where Paul did that say. I take up this and I just start trample up on him. Because I don't know what's phone. Just imagine what Paul was saying. 
We must not be ignorant, no lack of knowledge. Here yeah, where the Bible says now, 2 Corinthians chapter, um, 6 and Thessalonians, sorry, 2 Thessalonians, um, chapter 1, verse 6. He said it is a righteous thing for God to release tribulation against them that trouble you. And if you hear what I say, the Bible says, I don't write the Bible, you know? I quote what it says. Say it's a righteous thing. God says it's a righteous thing to release tribulation against them that trouble you. In the book of Revelation, chapter 2, Jesus attacked to one eye church and himself, if you don't repent, I fight against you with the sword of my mouth. First thing, just imagine you see a lion, a tiger picked a fight with a lion. I have watched a, a documentary. See a lion just lie down on a riverside and him just a easy. Just a lie down and just a go and enjoy himself. There come a tiger and just start troubling him. Every minute the lion goes, to he run. Lion go back and lie down. Now nah, pay him no mind. He come again, the lion goes, to he run. You see, the third time when him come, the lion said, I'm tired of you, man. I'm tired of you. I'm tired, me, me, me tired of you. See, the lion just hold him and just rip him up. Sometimes we need to get tired of some situation in our life. Say, enough is enough, devil. Have you have enough anyway? Because one thing we can say, Yes, enough is enough, but you have to reach at the place where you, as long as you not function according to the word of God, something wrong, something half, something not work right, so something does not fit. Yeah, you think it's a cliche. All right, you don't know how to pray. And every Sunday we come to church, we hear, God use Minister Della here to come up here and proclaim the declaration. Listen. You see some of them something there? Hey, you just start loading them in your gun and say, all right, this is scripture. This is a come out of your word. Again, use this to lick your left, right, and center. No, actually, prayers. It's prayers. And I just a man to say a mere words. Take the scripture and look if you don't find them in the same way. But trust me, we have to do better as people of God. We are in a war. We are in a war. Now lay down and die. Don't die in that position. There's a better way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There's a way out. There is a way out. You are not your can in the dark. You is a follower of Jesus Christ. You can't care in the dark. Because Jesus said is the light of the world. What kind of darkness could I in your can? Come on, man. But I can in the dark. I salt like why see, man. Actually, you don't know me salt. A year more to say, you know. And Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21 tell you. Said so death and life is in the power. The tongue. And if you love it. It will go beer and you will go eat the fruit. Nothing will go on for me. The devil say what? What? This is one where I can't curse. I curse himself. What? What do you say? What? You give me a perfect open door for come in. And in the door where you open, just run in the case and just lock it back. And in there, I look upon you. And hear you. Boy, I lock like you. You see, I got to turn walk. Listen, say. Oh, the one day where God call, all right? Me, I got to work upon him for you. Me, I got to work. No, I can come out to nothing then. When you supposed to say, who oh, God bless no man curse. Listen, we supposed to quote the word of God over our life. Use the sword of the spirit. 
I'm not going to tell you that power is in your mouth. Because that many people are telling you about power in your mouth. Yeah, power in your mouth. Power in your mouth. Because everybody in your teeth nowadays speak positive words. Your word can't work. But go away. The best word where you can't speak. And let me tell you, most of them are Joel Osteen. Oh, sorry. Osh. 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 But that's true. All you can hear, the motivational speaker say, speak positive. Speak this. You never hear him tell you, say, the word of God say. And that's what we want. We want a good motivational speaker. Well, me dear, this morning for motivate your spirit, not your flesh. The Bible says, He that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit said. The Bible said, We must give the most earnest heed to what we hear, lest at any time we make them slip away from us. We must learn how to fight, man. We must learn how to fight. Just imagine we have this warrior type mentality and come at church. I think nobody have to come up here, come and tell you, lift up your hand, lift up your hand, lift up your hand, lift up your hand, lift up your hand. Praise the Lord. Man, you come with the one of fire. The Bible says, high and sharp, high and sometimes one day if some are bored. Iron and board can't work. So listen, what me I say? You see, if a, a board mentality have come to iron part, because the Bible says iron sharpen iron. Iron sharpen iron. See, so when we come together and begin to start praise and worship and enjoy the presence of God, the Bible said in, in Acts chapter 4, when the disciples then go back and start pray, the Bible said the place vibrate, they start shake. Hey, we're not tired for just to keep church normal. It look like we're not tired for see, for see church as I keep normal. What we have, so we say, yes, we want more. We want more. No, no, more. We want there in our praise God and people are pastor God and yard all this and the Lord. Boof a gong. want somebody over a yard, I know house, I have a gun on head, and we over here praise, I'm, I'm, I'm probably ready to fly. He, 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 he just walk in and come bow down right as I'm ready to give me life to Jesus. <laughs> we are in a war. But we have to understand this. We have to put in. Listen, you know, God no want no dead sacrifice. And a dead sacrifice again. God say a living sacrifice. Living one. Jesus said any man will come after me. Let him first deny himself and take up his cross. And follow after me. You think me now go after God? Me I go after everything after him where he not me. Because I want to see. All foot does grow back. I want to see that. I think I just want to read about Elijah called on fire from heaven and he called this and called that. And when I look, I see nothing like that. No, man. Mm -mm. The Bible tells me something and I believe it. The Bible said in James chapter 5 that Elijah was man like me. And if him could have do it, there is something, a key ingredient. I better say me find out how. I better say me find ingredients I went do. Watch. Watch. No man, seriously, man. This thing real. This thing real. Me been changed by it. Me now like me change. 
Ask my wife about me. Me did terribly, you know. Me, me, me did turn bad. And Jesus still a rub me down because I look a rough edge still there. there. And him a rubby. And him a rubby. But you know what? Me a go half time with everything. Because him says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto us. Come on, man. We could go in all the workplace. And when you go in our workplace, the man say, from what you're from you know, they are not pure. Everything turn upside down. You say, from your master in back, everything does turn. Yeah, that does come back into place. But we don't think that in our mind. Because we have some things that black women are worthy. You're never worthy from first. The Bible said. In Romans chapter 5, that while we were yet sinners, God recommended his love towards us. And never when you become a follower of Jesus, God love you. I love me. God love you long before that. Me not worthy. You're never worthy from morning. My righteousness has filthy rags. Of course, you're right about that. But now you become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We have to understand identity have a lot to do with us as people of God. And it's in the word that we find the true identity of a believer. That's where our identity is. Many of us go in at the glass and look for oneself and the first thing come to our mind, sometimes in our life we can't talk. Because we always shame ourselves. And yet still we is a follower of Jesus Christ. We do not allow Jesus to heal the scars that is in our heart. Because many of us have some scars where when we look in our glass, our true husband not did there, our wife not did there. They just bust out in our tears. Because I am so ashamed of myself. Trust me. Me used to do that. Go in front of the glass and when me look, me not look for myself, you know. Me I then look down and grung on the dresser first. And me take a while before me wall up my head and start look for myself. But after... The word of God begin to start enter my heart. God, the word of God declare in Psalms 119, where it all shall a young man cleanse him's way, but by taking heed according to thy word. Thy word have I heed in my heart that I might not sin against you. The word transform life. The word transform life. That's why we can't rise up as a true warrior of Jesus Christ because we don't allow the world to transform us. We allow other stuff and things to transform us and conform to. Because trust me, religion, religion work from outside in. Jesus Christ work from inside out. So that's why people... We don't know see a transform so easy because we are take place in here. It take a time for grow if we come to that place. We need to know who we are in Christ. We need to know who we are in Christ. We are in a battle. Do not forget that. Do not forget that. Use what God give us to fight in this. War. Let us use what God give us to fight in this war. Can you stand to your feet, please? Yes.
Father, I thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace, God. Thank you, Lord, that you are God and God alone. Father, I lift you up. I worship you. I honor you. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. That there is none like unto you, Lord. There is none like unto you, Lord. There is none like unto you. Let's start with the start. Talk to Jesus now. There are things and stuff that we personally need to talk to Jesus about. We know that many times, really and truly, we give up. We throw in the towel, we raise white, white flag. We do not want to fight. We rather somebody fight for us. And the best person to fight for us is the Lord. And he's with you. David declared, if it wasn't for the Lord who was on my side. So Father, I lift you up, Lord. Oh, I worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, I lift you up, Lord. I lift you up. I lift you up, Jesus. I lift you up, Lord. I lift you up. Father, I break every resistance in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I lift you up, Jesus. Father, I lift you up. I exalt your people. Pray. Pray, intercessors, pray. Oh, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Rebecca, Sibre Kotor, Lemenda, Alala, Sika, Rebo, Koribi, Ketere, Debo, Shikura, Reba, Saka, Taraba, Koribi, Sekere, Deba, Shikuribi, and Daraba, Koturo, Debo, Shia, Dadaba, Reba, Kata, Laba, Sikuribi, Kata. Let your fire come in this place now, Lord. Let your fire, let your fire, let your fire, Lord. Let your fire come into this place, Lord. We destroy every plot and plan of the adversary, God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. That the weapon we use to fight God Almighty is not carnal, it's not physical, but it's spiritual, God. Mighty do you, God, to the pulling down of stronghold, God. Father, thank you even right now, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Shatiro tira tala la 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 le 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 mo shi katala na na zibro tira tira da do si na 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 ne no 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 do shi katata shi da 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 do si na na no no hurra ba ba di de bo si kat na 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 da di de kor na katari le 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 ba le le la ba shi da da o re be katara da ba si katada da 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 di de de shi katada de o shi da 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 do do si da Oh, lila la bo shekete, riba si kadaba yo. Eh, let the river, let the river flow. Let the river flow. Hey, let the river flow. Let a river flow, let a river flow. Let a river, let a river, let a river, let a river. Oh, let it flow, let it flow. Oh, Rabba Sika Tidebo Shikai. River, river, river. Let a river, let a river, Lord. Hurba kati rebe shi araba, rebe rebe shi akata araba. Hey, oh, let your river, Hallelujah, let your river, God. Oh. Hey. Jesus, let your river.
river, let your 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 river flow. Or, erebasikana, whoa, he karabashi araba, whoa, Jesus, whoa. Whoa, let your river let your river 